adorned with Mount Muru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. Imagining this as the Buddha's realm, I offer it that all beings may enjoy that pure realm. In accordance with the capabilities and the diverse aspiration of sentient beings, I ask you to turn the wheel of the Dharma of the greater, lesser, conventional vehicles. Tene ta tering kapso ngaranso chuntinte ta hilo legangane drop tene pe chenombaya ta chetang memong bonsam sala ite chawan da bot chamban da bot tene mang bon naya yorit ina kanya mepa tene chenomba chula mepa ya bo ya ba tene te yen de nyom ne ya bo na Tene pe narangke jalu kapsula ya ji ta che namba ke chu la mupa ka sa ji nang ke tu pe mupa ya bon nang ke tu mupa ya bon nang me masi ba ke tela nyam ni ya bon nang ke tu song ni narang ya sa la ga wa tang tu anda bo ji tu ba da bo chong song na te ni te pe ya bo ji tu chong Today we are completing this teaching in a wonderfully auspicious manner. This has been a time when a lot of people get together, and often when a lot of people get together, there are flus and colds and fevers that get passed around. <laughs> but this time, no one has gotten any, uh, there hasn't been any sickness, no one's gotten sick. And not only have you not gotten sick, you have been, you've shown a great interest in the Dharma. You have done your uh, practice very well. And when you've come to meet me, you've shown me your great interest in the Dharma. And it's not just interest, it's really great interest in the Dharma. And so this, uh, it's not only that, you've also really been doing your practice really well. And so in seeing this, I also have been really happy and excited about all of this. And so this is really extremely wonderful. <laughs> Tene kun jalwa, ta tindi mampu yore de, ina ya ta tuju ong mampu orang iwa mari la, tinga rangke ngusu, ta tanda kati de, kempo kongsi rangke jal ni tu, tene kempo kongsi rangke kun jal, ta tindi sedu tanda cendam pakang kalat de, gua cendra bujai jujung rangke kang tu pati. Dende tu sung, dende nyam ni sung kudu, dende hyoju ya pa jay ta. Dende chen na pa ke te la gawa gai yin tu tro yin tu nyi, te la te pa tong mu gu ji, dende nang ju ke kwa kap chung wala, pe ka wu chung. And we've been talking about the instructions of Kembo Gangshar. And the opportunity to talk about this is really wonderful. In the past, there were a lot of lamas who had met Kembo Gangshar, who had the opportunity to hear his instructions, to actually meet him uh, face to face. There were a lot of them, but because of the passage of time, now there aren't so many left. And so I had the opportunity to hear these instructions from him. I had these inst the opportunity to meet Kempo Gangsha and receive the instructions from him, to uh, meet him. And so uh, now for me to come and be able to give these uh, to you and to try to help you come to an understanding of them um, and to try to uh, instru uh, and I have tried to teach them to you. No, I didn't, he didn't say try. I have taught them to you as I have heard them uh, myself and, and told you this is how to do the practice. This is the practice that Kempo Gangshar taught. And so now you all have really listened. And while you've been listening, you've been really, or you've been uh, very joyous as, you, as you've listened. You've been very excited as you listened. You've had a lot of faith and devotion in this. And so 
Uh, this is a really uh, wonderful opportunity and a great fortune. Tini Tati Yendo Tanda Kapkala Mitsu Kapkala Kahi Soma J. Mumma Kimbo Konkerke Kajute Tini Pedo Jing in Don Partition Caps Nangel Tini Tanda and the Hepati Jing in Partition of Young Men Roy Summoned of Tesam Yep Corn of Tinde ngarang ตันดาเมงเกลมะคะฮีเกตายาเตลันดนาลายเตจีฮีนาสุนเตติจิงเตฮีนายาปุนโตสุนเตเกปะเรมาโตเจเจจิงเตฮีนายาปุนโตสุ
tendi gubu ge tendi nyamni tendi ina te chamge tu ya iho mare te ina ya ta kusala injo gomta pende ta je gom tenzo che luge tsolwa yo te chamma ge pa te gen do kawa yo te cham chi na ya ya pore la ma chi na ya ndi pa tene ta tendi se tu nyamni se dewa ta te nyamni se pa la te ne tene ran la che ngi to parchi chong na tene pe na kap ka la sem gani tene pe chi bo chong ne che ngi to parchi ung ri war la ti kap sala ya pe to ya pa kap ka la sem cho ni do ni che ngi to parchi ung ri war la ti kap sala ya pe to che wa ti kap ka la lu ma dewa to sem ma dewa na sa Tini kap ka la, tini nye mo pa kyo chen pa jie pa la so pa ta tindi ki chen ngi to parchi te ta su si chi o sula yi na yi na kap ka la yung ki yu are la ti yung ki kap su la ta ngaran so ki tini yi ta ki kari si gu kari si na ta ta hampi chiu ki ta yi ni te la pein to pa jie nang gu ki yu are la pein to parchi pi ki tap te pe tap chie pa ra jie tap le la vo ngu ni rin bie ki pein to ju yu pa ta tindi yi ndi te la tini nyam le yi nang tup na pe pein to chen pa re So that is why I taught this uh, teaching, and, and for that reason, this, these teachings really have great blessings. They're very beneficial uh, in terms of the subsequent applications, the uh, post-meditation practice. There is taking joy and, um, uh, joy and um, sorrow to the path, taking the afflictions to the path, taking illness to the path, taking the bardo to the path, and these are things that we really need. These are things that are really helpful. These are the practices that are actually uh, helpful for them. And, and so it is important for us to prepare for these things now, to prepare, prepare for them now and do practice now. And if the practice that we do is one that is really difficult, that we have to make a lot of effort and do a lot of difficult things to do, uh, it's uh, hard to do, the practice is hard to do, uh, it's hard to do a in the post-meditation, then there's not, not a whole lot to really listen to there. There's not a whole lot of point to that. But here, the resting meditation of the Kusalu and the analytic meditation of the Pandita are practices that don't require a lot of effort with our bodies. They don't require a lot of effort with our minds. They are, uh, if you want to uh, uh, do, undergo a lot of difficulties to do them, that's great. But you don't have to. <laughs> but you don't have to. Um, uh, and th these are, it, uh, it is okay not to. They are easy to practice, and because they are easy to practice, when they uh, are, when there are obstacles, they are very helpful. Sometimes we have uh, real pleasure arise in our mind, and at that time that we feel this great pleasure, there's a difficulty that it'll lead, or th there's the danger that it'll lead us to various problems uh, and difficulties and great problems. And at that time, using these instructions is very helpful. Likewise, sometimes we, uh, we get depressed and discouraged. We have suffering in our minds. We have real uh, uh, difficult situations that we're in. And these instructions are uh, very helpful at that time. They're easy to do and very comfortable for our bodies and for our minds. And so there's the taking sickness to the path, there's, we, there's, or there's all these sicknesses, there are the uh, afflictions, there's the pardo that will come. And because all of us are uh, uh, sentient beings, they these are things that happen to every sentient being. To anyone is, who's a sentient being happens. It happens to them. And so we need a way to deal with them. And um, the way to deal with them is, of course, to deal with them through the Dharma uh, and to bring our them into our Dharma practice. But the easiest and the best method for doing these, this is the easiest and best method methods for doing these. And if you do, if you practice them, these will uh, gradually help, uh, uh, gradually be very helpful for you. And so uh, it is, uh, if you can do as much practice as you can uh, possible, then that is going to be very beneficial. Tene tate tam de yam pen to pa tam de yam ma ji tate nga ran so ngu ni zhen du ji gu ba long lin tar gu ba ji re la tene te yang nga ran so pe la tam pe ji yor tene tang de bo lan ru du ala yo la se 
Tenin got to pull a ledoon, gurum, which in guru, which is pink mare. Tangwani, some of Yapo, and guru, which is so top the Yapo. Tangwichi put you got lay on, ah, so tenin lo lay, tenin draw, tenin tete, sting, and but you know, guru, which in guru, which is in the cheat of whatever it is. The teacher not underne, young Yapo, pay up with him, whatever. It's not just that these are helpful. These are things that we actually need to be diligent about. We need to be diligent about these pra- uh, and we need to actually put them into practice. In, t- in, um, uh, in Tibetan, there is a uh, saying, when you're walking in the bright fields, you sing fa la 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 la. <laughs> and when you uh, go into the dark cave, you say, oh, please, Guru Rinpoche. <laughs> 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 and so, so, you know, you're walking through the lovely fields, and that point you're saying, oh, la la, fa la la la, la singing yourself a song. Then you go, you know, you have this difficulty, you're in the dark cave, and you go, oh, Guru Rinpoche, please, I'm praying to you, I'm praying to you, oh, please help me. So, if at first, when you're walking through the, uh, the, uh, if, so at the time when it's happy and you're going through the, the pretty field, you don't just need to sing tra-la-la and you can actually, if at that point you start supplicating to Guru Rinpoche, then it will be helpful to you. It's when you get into that dark cave and go, oh, Guru Rinpoche, Guru Rinpoche, it's a little bit too late. <laughs> and so uh, for that reason, um, it's really important. And very, uh, it's really important and very, uh, very, uh, very good if you can do as much practice as you can from now, from starting from now. Tene ta te ta bu zhen du nang ma be ya bu le la. Yang kai xi gao gao lan ting jing man zhong ba. Tene zhen du te zhong nang ma zhong ba. Tene gao jing te ting jing man zhong. Tene zhen na ya. Tene yang bu te ta ga chu me ba gao ba me ba re zhong ne shen pang gu ma re. And so if you can be that diligent about your practice, that is wonderful, but sometimes, you know, you don't have everything you need. All the conditions don't come together and you have problems and you can't. Sometimes you just can't do it. And if that happens because there are problems and difficulties that prevent you from, from doing this, then um, you might think to yourself, oh, I, don't, I can't do the Dharma. I'm so unfortunate, poor me. And if you, there's actually no need to do that. Doing that isn't going to help. Actually, you need to remember that uh, it is actually, you are so fortunate because you have been able to enter the gate of the Dharma. And entering the gate of the Dharma, you've developed faith and devotion. Just doing this is such a wonderfully great merit. So just doing this is uh, extremely fortunate. Uh, and so just this is uh, really extremely wonderful. <laughs> Chungalata <laughs> And so um, this is the end of our teaching. We have, um, at this point, I'd like to say that we finished this all in a very Ashvisish way, and I'd like to make the prayer that all of you have no difficulties and no obstacles in practicing uh, this dharma. And so that is enough for today. And the reason we're only saying, I'm only saying a little bit today is that today is the last teaching. And then after this teaching, many of you have to go home. And then tomorrow you have to go to work. <laughs> and so then when you go home and you need, when you go home, you get there and you think, 
oh no, I got to do that. <laughs> I have to get this ready. I've got so many things to do. The house is a mess. It's terrible. <laughs> what am I going to do? And so maybe today it's better if you just You'll have a lot to do when you get home, so if you go a little bit earlier today, then you can get home, you can do what you need to do, and then you can go to work tomorrow and everything will be all happy and wonderful. <laughs> and so, uh, for that reason, I'm just saying a little bit today, uh, and I'll leave it here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So now we will do the. Now we will. Jawa <laughs> The <laughs> Page number Poor Lamborum boy, 
Mamerum boje, derajem boje, bombay, jewa amai, jewa amai, lo. Ma karama, mendo mai, mendo be mai, naze mai, deja mai, ni mai, na wa, rum boje, do jole nambai jave nyanze, wezo la da. Panjuro Ponzo Ponzo Ba Ma Zan Wa Me Ba De Nyeng Kar Ma Lu Dru Ri Lu Ma Ve Sing Ge Jem Bu Chu Ge Sha Pe Ten Jin Kap Ja Sab Ji Chu Ji Ko Lo Ta Pa Ju Le Du Mpo Wa In Ji Wo In Du Jin Dru Ve Dun De Ju Shin Ni Jin Ji La Ndu Zu Ten Ru In Zu In Ji Bhai Ni Yeah. 
Ramdo, 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 Bande Now it's our turn, Rinpoche. <laughs> so first of all, and I'm speaking for all of us, I just want to thank you so much for coming back to Maine and teaching us. And as you said, and many people here have said, we've, we've gotten better, stronger. Our meditation was stronger. And that is because you've come many times and guided us and taught us. And following that logic, we would very much like to supplicate you um, if possible, I know you have many activities planned next year, but if there's any chance you can come back, um, we would all be very, very happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Ramche, thank you very much, and if the the Kinis will come out here. This is an <laughs> offering <laughs> from all of us to help with all of your activities. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And also, we would like to thank David um, for his translating, yes, and it's been, it's been very sharp, but also for his humor, his lightness, for helping us with the singing. He has a beautiful voice, and also for his obvious devotion. So thank you very much, and please come back. And also Kempo Jigme and the monks. Kempo Jigme for teaching us and also helping different individuals. Thank you for coming from Crestone, and hopefully many of us can come there to see you. And Lobsang and Wanchuk and Choga, thank you for helping Rinpoche so that he could help us. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this has been a very good retreat. Uh, that's what all of you have been saying to me. And I wanted to thank the people um, who really, there's been a lot of work behind the scenes. <clears throat> as soon as I get my glasses. <laughs> So one person in particular, and if these people could stand up, we can thank them. Um, so Jane Lawless does a lot of work way before the retreat and during the retreat. Um, and it's attention to details. People say it runs smoothly. You know, scheduling, uh, interview groups, Rinpoche's food service, a, a thousand details. She's a CEO, a general manager. <laughs> and so we can thank her. And Sheila and Phil, the registrars that I think most of you all had contact with, please stand up and thank you. <laughs> and
and Phil also for the hundred things that <laughs> he gets asked to do by all of us, and also Love Song. So thank you very much for all your work. <laughs> and in the Portland Vajavidja, Kiki, Gina, Peter, Lee, they're key in working, organizing this retreat. So thank you all very much. Please stand up. And Kate. Where's Kate? And Kate. <laughs> Regine and David Whittlesey. Regine is here. David, I think, is off in another country. Please stand up, Regine. Regine offered... Regine offered Rinpoche her house, that's where he and the monks have been staying, and also Gloria. And it's very, very generous, and thank you. And it's a beautiful house for Rinpoche to be in. <laughs> Pat Lee and Peter Comas for recording. Please stand up. And special thanks to Pat and Deborah. They are Vajra Echoes, and they basically make Rinpoche's teachings available to, to the wider Sangha, so thank you for that. <laughs> and there's another whole mandala behind the scenes. Sheila, Jislan, Joanne Kimball, Pat Wise, Nancy Phillips, could you please stand up? These are the people that are serving and cooking over at Rinpoche's house. Thank you very much. Doug Cowan, please stand up for all of the flowers that we've had. Beautiful flowers. And all the discussion group leaders, please stand up. And this is for, the, for all the fine discussions. Thank you. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of us. We can actually clap for ourselves because this group really has matured. It wouldn't have happened without Rinpoche, but th please come back, all of the same people, if Rinpoche <laughs> comes back, so we can try this and be even more mature. So thank you. ตันดาเจนนัมเบกกอร์เนจุยญอมเนยาปนาวตาติเนงารังกอร์เนตาตันดาเนนาลเปทาดิกอนซอมซอปากังบาเรกังเจลเปจิบุชิโรจงซอน
and that little pinky things Now let us dedicate all of the virtue that we have uh, had through listening to and teaching the Dharma to the benefit of all sentient beings so that there may be no uh, uh, famine, illness or war in this world. And in particular, so that all of those who practice the Dharma, so that all of those who go to Dharma centers, all of those who go to retreats, anyone who practices Dharma in any way at all, that they may uh, have no difficulties and no obstacles in accomplishing the Dharma, and that they may be able to bring their practice to the ultimate end. I am making this, I make this prayer, and I hope that you also make this prayer as we recite them. Yeah. 